Welcome to the Holy Land and the biblical site of Bethesda. We're located in the Old City, and right here is Bethesda, the pools of Bethesda. Here is where a man who had been an invalid for 38 years was healed. It's a beautiful story. Let's look at it together. It takes place in John 5.1. It says, After this there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate a pool in Aramaic called Bethesda. Bethesda, which has five roof colonnades. In these lay a multitude of invalids, blind, lamed, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been invalid for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be healed? So here was this man, invalid for 38 years, who came to this pool on a regular occasion to be healed, because it says that an angel of the Lord would stir the waters, and the first one in would be healed. But the invalid could not get there, and for 38 years he had tried to get there over and over and over again. But he was persistent, and he was there on the day that Jesus came, and Jesus said, What do you want me to do for you? And the man says, I want to be healed. So in verse 7 it says, The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I am going, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Get up, take up your bed, and walk. And at once the man was healed, and he took up his bed and walked. Now that was the Sabbath day. So the Jews said to the man who had been healed, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to take up your bed. It was prohibited by the Jews because it was the Sabbath. But he answered them, The man who healed me, the man said to me, that man said to me, Take up your bed and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your bed and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn, as there was a crowd there in that place. Afterward Jesus found him in the temple, and said to him, See, you are well, sin no more, that nothing worse may happen to you. So it's interesting that this uh, invalid then went to the temple to worship God, because he had been healed, and he met up with Jesus there. And Jesus said, uh, Sin no more, that, that nothing worse would happen to you. Then verse 15 says, The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had healed him. And this was why the Jews were persecuting Jesus, because he was doing these things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father is working until now. That is why I am working. This was why the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own Father, making himself equal with God. So it's interesting that Christ made himself equal with God because he was God. He was God in the flesh, visiting mankind. So, what can we learn about this uh, significant miracle that took place here? The lame man had faith in God, for he was in this place where miracles happen. So he knew that miracles happened, and he was looking for God, he was seeking God. The lame man was patient. He had been lame for 38 years, and went to the pool of Bethesda regularly. Apparently, he was alone as no one would help him get into the pool to be healed. Apparently, his family had uh, given up hope. Uh, after the many years, they just thought, you know, it's just never going to happen. And, and they just couldn't be there daily on a regular basis. They had jobs, they had commitments, they had responsibilities. They probably had their own family. So this man was alone there by the pool day after day. And it appears that his disability was caused by some sinful activity on his part because Jesus told him to stop sinning or something worse would happen. So not all of the time are the diseases and the sicknesses we have a result of sin, but sometimes they are. And it appears in this occasion that it was the case because Jesus said to him, go and sin no more or else something worse will happen to you. So apparently he was under uh, God's judgment. So what about us? What are some things? things that uh, we can apply to our lives. One, do we have the faith that God can help us with our problems? Are we patient and remain faithful despite uh, what we don't understand about our problems? Do we need to ask others to help us in our problems because we are alone? And is our problem called by disobedience or some sin in our lives? And do I believe, lastly, that Christ can heal me and help me too, like He healed the 
uh, invalid man right here in the pools of Bethesda. So we're showing you in this video, uh, this area, it's the pools of Bethesda, right here in Jerusalem, the old city, where Christ healed an invalid man who had been uh, lame for 38 years and God healed him. He went to the temple and worshiped God. So what a beautiful story. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and God bless you. Thank you.